Boys and girls, we're going to be looking at Alice and this series of videos is really to get you guys uh, familiar with being able to do the code that you need to do and so that you can make the animations for your end of uh, term projects. So I'm going to be going through a few case examples and then from there we will look at how the code works together and how it meshes so that it actually makes your characters move, it makes the objects move in the ways that you want. And that's a whole idea, is that you are going to create some great animations. So without further ado, let's have a look at the code and let's get started. I'll just get it from up here. All right, guys. Well, we're going to be looking at now how to actually um, do some basic functions on Alice. So the first thing we're going to do you can see Alice is right here. I've just got the green uh, background. How to save your work and how to do a new project. It's very straightforward. You just need to go up to File, and then you've got New. You've also got your Save and Save As. If you want to save your project, you'd pick Save As first. Then you would pick your, obviously, folder from here. You can also go to this PC. Now this, this will allow you to get to um, the drive that we save our work on at school. So that's very important. Um, and then to click the folders from there. To start a new project, say I make a mistake, I literally just go File and New. And you have a whole range of worlds. Now if you can't, if you can't actually find the one that you want to uh, do or you want to load for example your previous work all you have to do is there's different tabs you can see go to file system when you go to file system just press browse this will give you the same option as before again this PC is where we're going to get the folders that we need and the drives so that's to save your work and that's to actually do your work. There are some other functions here as well. You have obviously run, which is basically uh, the button. If I close that, that's the same as pressing this. You have your window, which you can either have the code editor or the scene editor. Instead of going down here, which I've done now, you can actually do it from up to top. Whatever you like, honestly. It may be quicker this way for you. Or you may find it's just a bit hard to use. The choice is yours. Project history, I don't have anything here. But this should list all your recent saves and auto saves. So that just tells you what you've saved over the time. Uh, we also have, let me see, we go to preferences, go to gallery. We just have a few different options that we can pick from, but we don't need to really know them, to be honest. There's also a help function within Alice. And I guess if you go to this website, and let's just do it now, you can actually get a lot of information about in installation, which we don't really need, but just some general resources. So if we go here, a brief overview, we've got uh, as well uh, different presentations. There's some help you may find useful, but um, not entirely necessary. So that's some basic functions for now. Um, and yeah, check out some of the other videos. All right, I'll see you soon.